Hey guys, it's Robert with RT Repairs. Guess what? Got one for you today. Look what's back. Yep. It's the Jeep. It's back. Look what's on the ground. Yep. So my daughter came back with this today. Went to transfer the title over into her name for it. And uh, while we were out, The low voltage light came on. Came back home, pulled the trusty alternator out, which isn't too hard on these Jeeps. You take out the air box, take that off. There's two bolts, one down here and another here, and the alternator will come out. So we pulled the alternator out, and what I found was is, you know, dirty terminals on the back of the alternator. So we clean those up, put it back together, still had low voltage. Couldn't get it above 13 volts, couldn't figure out why either. So pulled it off again, took the alternator in and got the alternator checked out at O'Reilly's and uh, they gave us a printout and everything looks good on the alternator. Got back home, looked at the belt tensioner and the belt, even with the tensioner on, the belt couldn't get any tighter than this. So if you check out the alternator, see if I can get you guys down here to see it. If you see, you got some black soot right there on the alternator. This belt was rubbing. So basically our tensioner went bad, which was a brand new belt tensioner. When I put it on there, so I mean, brand new, um, less than six months old, um, but one of those made in China parts, I guess. So the belt tensioner is going to be replaced here. They'll have one in a couple hours. I'll get a belt tensioner back on this thing um, and get it back on the road. But that's something to check out, guys. Uh, you know, when you first come out, you naturally assume, oh, it's got to be the battery, or oh, it's got to be the alternator. Nope. It's the tensioner. So we'll get this tensioner put on as soon as one, the one comes in. Um, we'll put it back together and we'll get it back on the road. I mean, quick lesson to learn. You know, don't just go at what you think it might be because it's not always that. You know, look at what's supposed to work and how things are supposed to work so things can get back together. But we're going to get this one back together um and go from there with it have some bad news with the old jaguar you can see we started working on the suspension on the jaguar but check this out yeah check this out oh yeah yeah rust rust yeah she's suffering from rust so are we going to fix that or are we going to let this one go? I don't know, guys. I mean, look at her. She's in good shape. Engine runs good, 103,000 miles. I can get the actual uh, rocker panel, outer rocker panel for this car. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to get this car, get the suspension and everything put back together on it. Um, since that's pretty much the easiest thing to do right now, we'll get the suspension back together. We'll get this one out of the way. We'll continue the work on our motor here, getting the motor put back together. You can see all the parts for the motor there from the 3.4. We'll go ahead and get that put back together. Um, and then once we have the 3.4 put back together, we'll throw it back in the old Aztec there and get the Aztec on the road. Um, that's going to be the next videos. We'll get the Aztec back together. Then we'll come back to this and this will be our long-term project because we're going to have to remove the doors to get to all that crustiness. Um, and we have the same issue on this side, but you know, just kind of find it hard to get rid of this car, guys. This car is in beautiful shape and it can be fixed. It's going to take some work you know the door panels will have to come off um, there'll be some welding to do 
but you know all in all it's the only rust on the car so and that is a standard issue 2002 to 2005 they had that issue you know they, they look beautiful but the under part of the rockers rust out and i should have looked at that i knew it but i should have looked at it but i didn't but we'll get her fixed um the good thing is it's just the outer part of the rockers that rusted out um I should say rotted out, not even rust it, rot it. I mean, it just fell apart. Whole trash can full of it. Um, so once we get that outer completely off, we should be able to put the new structure back on, get it welded in place, um, get it in primer and get it painted. And you know, this car should last a long time. There's no other rust anywhere on that car. No other rust. So. For now, I'm going to get that Jeep taken care of for my daughter so she can get driving it again. Yes, she's driving the Volvo right now. Um, I've got a mass airflow sensor ordered for the Volvo. Um, so we'll get the Jeep taken care of tonight so I can get that back to her tomorrow. Um, today's Tuesday, so just so everyone knows. I believe it's the 25th or 26th. Um, and then I will go ahead and get the Aztec engine hopefully worked on in the next four or five days here. And you guys will be privy to it. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take and we're going to clean up this journal right here on the crankshaft. We've got this one right here. We're going to clean up that journal right there. And then we should be able to get this thing put back together. And hopefully get her back in the Aztec. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I have a lot of guys asking about the bumpers on the Jeep. Guys, I did not change the bumpers on the Jeep. I want to show you the Jeep. So, we were going to put the metal bumpers on it. We never put the metal bumpers on it, guys. The company that was making them is no longer in existence. Um, and with COVID and everything else, I never did it. So we never put the bumpers on this Jeep. Um, I've been doing research, trying to hunt some down. And for right now, they're just not available. Um, but we did get all the other engine work done that we were gonna do. Um, got the water pump put on, got the hoses on, got the, you know, got everything taken care of under the hood. So that's all good to go. We also got the interior back together. So you guys can see the interior is completely back together in this vehicle. So, but there'll be more to come with the Jeep. Well, we got plenty of stuff we're going to do with the Jeep here in the future with her. We got the old Yaris over there. You know, you guys remember the Yaris. I did the cruise control on it. That's still working good. Uh, so we'll take care of this and get this stuff taken care of and see you guys next time. But thanks for watching, guys. RT Repairs.